Hey you guys, this is a June plum cutting that I was able to root. This is just a small cutting, probably about six inches, five to six inches. I cut it off. It is uh, off of the new growth of a mother plant. And then I stuck it in soil. And about a month ago, and it looks like, look at all the roots. I just literally pulled it out of its pot where it was rooting. I am now going to transplant this into its home for now. Hopefully doing this. I wouldn't recommend this. Try to not pull it, but I just wanted to check to see if I can actually do it from cutting as opposed to uh, grafting. This is a June plum. I am in the soil with just basically potting soil and then put in pine fine pine mulch that way it provides good drainage uh, for the pot and just going to place it in here and hopefully it will grow i know i'm going to stress it a little bit because of how i dug it up but i needed to see if it actually had some root to make sure that it worked this is my first cutting of a june plum um, I will show you a quick tutorial video of how I take the cutting and then probably about a month This is probably a month and a half worth of growth Into the cutting and then I ended up with root. So now I have actually made myself another June plum So this is my June plum tree. You can see it is basically in its prime right now It's starting to produce flowers Lots of flowers, which hopefully means lots of fruit you can see I have two of them over here and they are fruiting right now. Look at this cluster right here of fruits. And then I have a whole bunch of other flowers over there. This one over here has clusters of fruit as well. You can see over here and here as well as still flowering over here and couple fruit on the opposite side you can see they're right there but I can't get to that other side so today's video I just want to show you how to propagate June plum from cutting since it is fruiting I'm gonna pick the cutting that doesn't have any fruit on it see this one right here has um, fruits on it so I'm gonna leave that one but see how it has a side shoot right here that doesn't have any fruit or flowers now it has the potential to flower because they seem to flower on new growth but I think because of how full the fruit is I'm not gonna have I don't want to put too much stress on it so I'm gonna come here cut at the base right here so I'm trying to do this while being a left-handed person cutting gonna just cut it right there and then I'll fine-tune it when I get back in so I'm just gonna cut this piece here and so far I've only had success with the first with the um with the fresher cuttings at the tip as opposed to the old wooden piece so i'm going to use this piece and probably do two cuttings from it and let me see so that one's a good one now i could choose to take this one as well but see how this one is branching out of the tree in a good way i want to keep that i'll come over here here is one right here that looks like it's just kind of in the middle, not doing anything. So I think I'm going to go in and just cut this one. Um, let's see. Seems like a lot of yellow leaves, so I think I'll just go in and cut it. So, sorry, it's hard to see, but right at the base over here, that's where I'm going to cut it. So I can use this one as a cutting. And I'm going to do one more of this one right here. This nub right here. I'm going to use that too and see how successful I am at this one. So you can see they seem to grow pretty good. Like even here, this is where it's going to flower. But it's sending out new stems right here as well. So, okay, I thinned it. I think I thinned it out pretty good. So now I'm going to go to the area where I have the potting soil ready to go, and all I do is just basically put it in there and then let it do its thing and take root. 
All right, everybody, so these are the cuttings I taken from the June plum. I didn't take too many because I still really want fruit from the plant and it's in the prime season, but I thought I would show you just by a couple that I have. This here, I can use as several nodes. I know you should probably take more cutting than this, but I seem to get it to work, so I'm gonna do it this way. So here is a section. What I'm gonna do is just take off all the leaves from down below. So basically, each of the nodes is where I take the stem off. So there's a node right there. That's where the root is going to grow from. So I'm going to strip it almost bare. And instead of stripping it there, I'm just going to leave it just like this. And then from then, I am going to make a little divot. Take out that little piece of weed. I seem to grow more weed than I do anything else and that is a huge storm coming in and then I stick it in there making sure that the nodes actually is buried because that's where the roots are going to take so that is one that is done and let's start with another one this one is a bigger stem so I'm going to turn this into two cuttings and you can just do one if you want to but I'm going to do two so I'm going to cut it from here right underneath a node where a stem is. That's where the node is going to be. So I'm going to cut there and then strip the leaves. This one I am going to leave just a little bit right there. You can see over here it's starting to push a little growth right there. That's where the node is. When I talk about the node, that's where a new leaf or a stem will form. So since I have these nodes here, these two, I'm going to stick this into the soil and it's going to root either from here or there or both. So putting it in like this. I can create a divot but this is strong enough it can create its own divot. So I'm going to stick it in there and make sure that the nodes is covered. So this is just a soil mixture, potting soil, and then I put in perlite to help uh, with the drainage. So that's the second cutting, and then the tip of the cutting right here, again, stripping the leaves, leaving the nodes. I'm gonna take all of it off and just leave this amount. And then from then, we're gonna stick it into the soil, making sure that it covers at least one or two nodes so that's where the rooting is going to take. So stick it in there and just let it be. And I do this for, I let it sit in there for probably a month and a half or two. I think that's how long the other one was. Ooh, this one's got leaves out of the wazoo. So I'm just going to do that. And then stick this whole thing in like that. So hopefully we'll get all of those nodes that will have root in them. And this one, just gonna stick it down there. Just like that. And that is it. Now this one I just placed in here a week ago. And then of course, the very beginning of the video shows you the one that's been in it for a month. And it takes root and this is how I'm gonna get more June plum plants. Thank you so much for watching, you guys, uh, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.